Okay, um, this is my setup for the bi-directional and speed controller um, controlled by Bluetooth uh, via an Android application I have on this phone. Um, the setup I have is the STK500 development board uh, developed by Atmel. Uh, in place is the AT Tiny 2313. This is the microcontroller that's connected to both the Bluetooth um, uh, modem, let's say, or module, and my home build ST Micro L298 bi directional speed controller for DC motors. The STK500 will supply the 5 volt logic for both the Bluetooth module and the logic inputs on the L298. This here uh, is the 12 volt supply or should be 12 volt for the motor. Over here is the multimeter that we'll use to measure the voltage drop across the sense resistors right here on the L298 and this is the motor that is connected through the terminal block outputs on my controller so I'll start showing you the oscilloscope output which is now currently at 0 volts this will show the enable signal that will represent the PVM or PWM also called or which stands for pulse with modulation signal to the controller this goes here in the brown wire right here and this is the probe so I'll turn on my cell phone and what we have here is the blue control um, application which I found on the Android market I'll go in choose connect the Bluetooth module is called Linwood I don't know why now it says connected to Linwood and you can now see the LED output on the uh, module is not blinking in it anymore it's stable so this means it's connected so we'll start by selecting a direction for the motor let's say to the right and we'll start increasing the duty cycle of the PWM signal by pressing upwards you can see that it the width of the pulses starts increasing when I um, each time I press the up button here, right here and I can stop it by pressing the middle button if you want to see the motor in action this will happen now I'll start by pressing the direction and I press upwards until you see the motor start spinning each time I press the up button it will turn faster here you see the current draw is 0 0.05 amps which is 50 milliamps and you also see the voltage drop across the 8 ohm sensor resistor which is um, probably eight times bigger than I wanted to but I didn't have a smaller one at hand um, as I increase the PWM output you can also see the current and the sense resistor voltage drop increase I think this is probably 50% duty cycle right here
and I'll increase it to close to a hundred percent so this is uh, approximately the fastest speed for this motor right here if I decided to turn the PWM down it's easier to see the direction change on the motor as I press this button it, you might even see that so I'll go a bit slower okay watch closely now okay this button there you see it So, soon to be seen in a robot or something similar.